All right, guys. Well, Cinco de Mayo was yesterday, but the celebrations of the Battle of Puebla are not over yet. Many people are wanting to get into some good food this weekend. Speaking of, Taco Madness 2023 is happening downtown today, and one of local LA business owners that will be featured there is Brittany Valles. She is actually the owner of two taco restaurants. Yes. Thank you so much for being with us this Thank morning you for having me. and for bringing all this deliciousness. I know. And last night was Cinco de Mayo, so it was it was no oh, easy. <laughs> it was probably such a good time. Oh my God, it was. Oh, yeah. sorry. So you've got two taco restaurants. Different restaurants, yes. Go-Go's and Gorilla's Tacos. Yes. Let's start with Go-Go's on this end because this box is calling yeah. my name. I want to get in it. <laughs> yeah, so Go-Go's Tacos is kind of like our take on like L.A. street food, but okay. also just like Mexican junk food. Nice. Uh, Mexican-American junk food, I should say. Uh -huh. So just for Cinco de Mayo, we're doing these like massive nachos that we tested it and like up to six people can have like a fully solid meal with it. Oh, six? I was um, thinking just me, but okay, yeah, that's yeah. fine. <laughs> I would love Let's to see Let's have some it. generous sharing friends. <laughs> yeah. I'm kidding. Okay, so what's on this delicious? So we do beans. We do two layers of beans because nobody likes to dry chips. So, Hello. Yeah. So we do a layer of beans and cheese and mm. then another layer of chips and then beans and cheese and then chicken <gasps> on top. And then we put all the cold stuff on the side so that if you can't eat it in one sitting, you can take off all the cold stuff and then heat it up tomorrow or eat oh. it. So if, even if it's just for you for meal prep for the week, yeah. you're set. I love this show. so much. Okay. So you're only doing this as a special though for Cinco, for Cinco de, Mayo. de Mayo. So how yeah. long do we have to get it? So until Mother's Day. So until next week, okay. you can pre-order it. Um, um, and one of the nice things about Go-Go's is it's made for people who, who like to throw spontaneous parties. Yes. So we can make it pretty quickly for up to 50 people. Um, Great. Any, any kind of thing. What so. is it called? How do we order it? Uh, it's called the Cinco de Mayo Nacho Box. Cinco de Mayo Nacho Box. Yeah. And how much is it? It is $40. All right. That yeah. looks so yummy. Okay. Yeah. Gorilla's Tacos is the other one. Tell yes. us about that spot. So Gorilla Tacos is totally different. Um, LA has tons of delicious carne asada carnitas tacos. Mm -hmm. um, but what we do at Gorilla is we take seasonal inspired things and we put it on a tortilla so all of our tacos are really conceptualized dishes mm -hmm. um, and we've been around for 11 years six as a food truck five as a brick and mortar so we've been doing bougie tacos so to speak for a really <laughs> long time and what is that one there this one is our pork belly that we just changed because a lot of tomatoes are coming into season okay so it has gooseberries on it, it has gold berries um, and then we did a pineapple hamachi tostada that kind of has this like a uh, pina colada flavor to it um, so it has some spice but it has like the creaminess that cools it down yeah me okay yeah. so taco madness you're competing in that today yes. with more than 60 other restaurants tell us a little bit about the competition yeah so we competed in vegan taco madness um, and we won with go -Go's. congratulations um, and so they did a bracket system that um, has now gone down to the final two taqueros and then tonight is like an in-person system awesome so we are doing three different tacos with gogos and um, it's super fun there's tons of there's like performances. It's gonna be like the biggest taco madness ever. So Fun. all the taco lovers, like it's where you you just go to get a bunch of tacos in okay. one place. Okay. Tell us how. Where is it? How can we come and get tickets? Yeah, it's at um, Plaza de Cortuga in downtown LA. Mm -hmm. So right by Olvera Street. Um, so you can park at Union Station and walk over, um, and you can get tickets on latacocom Awesome. And yeah. it must be. This must just be if you own a taco spot, the best weekend of the entire year. I, I was saying to everybody yesterday, like amping them up. I was like, this is the Mexican restaurant. Super Bowl because <laughs> everybody was working. I was like, nobody asked for the day off. Yeah. So this weekend is really like it's Super Bowl weekend for Mexican restaurants and not just mine. There's so, so many in the city. So I mean, LA Angelinas are so lucky because we have so many options. It is so true. All right. Before we let you go, quickly tell us where we can find each of these spots. So Gogo's Tacos is in Rampart Village mm -hmm. um, in that crazy intersection on Beverly and Westmoreland, which I feel like every LA person knows. <laughs> and then Gorilla is in downtown LA in the Arts District. All right. And the food was so good. We didn't even get to margaritas, but have yeah. a couple of those when you go visit one of the spots. Brittany, right. thank you so much for being with us this morning. Good you, food God. and good drinks. Thank goodness the Mexicans won the Battle of Puebla, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you can find all of this information from the segment, guys, and these taco shops on our website, kcalnews.com slash scene on TV.